Hello everyone and welcome back to No Man's Sky Beyond in VR. Um, last episode we went to go into the Nexus, right? And it probably would have cut out just as I went in. Um, I did go in there, but it was super laggy and it ended up crashing my game. So... I saw a fix online and it said for now until they update it I should just disable online mode so that's what I did so uh, yeah it should be fine now it should be fine to go in there and when I was in there I only saw about like two people and it was just super laggy um, but yeah maybe I'll show it maybe I won't because I haven't actually technically edited it yet but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go in there now though, and uh, let's see what we can do in there. I didn't really spend a lot of time in there because it was just like it was so bad, and obviously it crashed. But yeah, here we go. It is uh, it's pretty cool in here though. Alright, let's stand up. Okay. Right then. Let's see what this place is all about. Sorry, I was just sorting out the strap on my uh, move controller. Guess we go up here. Oh, he's, he's different. He's like Groot. He's like, he's well tall. He's not that much on a platform, is he? I'm so tired, young one. Leave me to rest, please. Oh, okay. I'll see you later then. Can I sit down? Oh, I can sit down in real life, but... What's over here? I'll speak to them in a second. Let's sort of explore this place. Whoa. <laughs> this is like telling me off, like, go back. <laughs> You're not in the play area. Oh. It's a shame that the, uh, the online thing isn't very very good at the minute. God, oh, that's annoying. Why can't I go in there? What? They, they, the rule number one, don't restrict players. When they can see a place that they can clearly go to. You know what I mean? Can I go up here? No, I just sort of like fall straight through. Always oh, getting all like, angry at me. Hello, look at you. The life form gestures apologetically. Perhaps I should return another day. Okay, I'm starting to see a pattern here. Oh my god, look at you. Well, okay. Um, some fork and spoon. <laughs> Let's try and talk to this guy. The life form sniffs at me with a derisively. I can't read that word. Look, trying to detect the items carry from. Oh! I know this carbon nanotube, but the primary sensation is of utter blandness. Oh, give me five nanites for that. <laughs> okay. Um, some guys there. Hello, owl people. He looks pretty cool. 
A sharp-eyed bean stares at me, unbleaking. They tell me their name. Hesperus, but rush through the words as though nauseated by the introduction that focuses on me. Tell me, stranger, who exactly are you? A wanderer? A traveller? Tra traveller? A traveller? Uh, I guess I'm just a wanderer. Excels. <laughs> okay. Perhaps you have not yet heard the call. It would become irresponsible eventually. You begin to hear it in your dreams and your heartbeat, even after, even afterwards. There is a sudden movement from the other life form stood at Hesperus's side. Hesperus clears their throat. I believe we tread parallel paths, you and I, and yet quite impossibly we have met. Let us not make this our only encounter. Okay, you're a good lad, ain't ya? You're a good, you good boy. I'll see you later, alright? Alright, let's go see, let's go see the boys, shall we? Let's go see the lads. Um, our good old friends, um, what's his name? Poe and something else? Travelled 15KS. Hey, what's up? I am Priest Entity Nada. Divergent Corvax, welcome to our anomaly. Our home here is pleasant, yes. Polo's own design. A perfect bubble beyond the Sentinels beyond. A vengeful Corvax. Nada watches time come and go. Um, ask about the space station, let's see what's going on. Beyond this is outside our anomaly, wonders free, free like Nada, to observe, to search. The Sentinels, the Atlas, they do not care for this place. I feel their eyes hunting us. The Corvax watches me. There is a patience, an organic tilt to the way they hold their metal shell. Let's ask about this Artemis. That's, uh keeps calling us <laughs> a traveler entity perhaps they are known to you I do not know their number <laughs> Nada does not care to think about iterations as numbers they were lost to us highly improbable our anomaly is lost to the sentinels but none should be lost to the anomaly Nada's Carpace pulses with a gentle light. There is something familiar about them. Ask about Nada. Nada awoke with the death of Corvax Prime. Could not understand why such things happen. Why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The con convergence do not see through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo, friend. Now many other friends visit our convergence. Why can't I say that? Like, convergence is a small but Nada happy. Okay. This situation has been calling to me since I woke up on the planet. Perhaps it calls to Artemis as well. I ask about Polo. Polo, friend, found Nada. Found my signal. Nada is safe now. Now Nada finds other signals. Makes others safe. Nada watches me, judging my reactions as they speak. Okay. Speak with Polo, friend, traveller. Perhaps they might know more about missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. Alright. Uh, tell me what you think about me just reading everything. Uh, would you like to read it yourself or would you do you like it when I read it? I'm not the best of readers. Uh, I have dyslexia, so uh, it's quite hard. And also, I don't have my glasses on inside the headset. But friends everywhere, if only you know 
where to look. Friends in all shapes and sizes, all places. Artemis friend, you are where they should be. Does not seem possible, but all things are possible, such as the universe. We will find them. No doubt there is always a signal, always a trace. Ask how. Our home will see it. See to it. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. What do you mean by that? Or maybe not. Discovery is existing, yes? Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with our friends. We all help each other here. Uh, okay. Okay. The Space Anomaly is a hub for travellers. A nexus that unites them wherever they are in the universe. Use Nada and Polo's home to meet other travellers. Undertake missions, earn nanites, or upgrade your equipment. Speak to other travellers to earn nanites. Learn new technology blueprints. Browse a huge... Okay, now it's gone. Oh, there we go. So we've got an objective sign. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of me just reading out loud. Um... I would like to think that it's kind of helpful for you guys that can't be asked to read. <laughs> you can just listen. <laughs> but tell me if it's annoying. Ah, young one. You who still roam the boundaries of the uni this universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality has long passed, but I miss it greatly. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen. Yearn for the stars, for the glory of discovery. Give data. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take these nanites. They are nothing, but they are all I have now. How many nanites did you give me? 150? Nice. Thank you, friend. I'm going to call you Groot, even though you're not Groot. What's his name? Does it say his name? Helios. Thank you, Helios. <laughs> Helios. Let's go to Selene, it looks like. Ooh. Can I do anything with this? I'll tell you what, the music, the music, like the ambience music reminds me of Blade Runner a little bit. It's like the... Whoa, did he just... Oh, he's got a long tongue. Uh, put that back in. Selene! Traveller knew your suit is an extension of yourself. Let me aid you. Research exosuit upgrades. Okay, look at this, eh? Oh, I, I want that. Hazmat gone, look. Yeah, what's that one? Words translated. Hmm. I definitely want that one. Yeah, because now I can pick up stuff that I couldn't pick up before. Awesome. Wait, what? Space station. Right, yep, yeah, whatever. Well, right, let's talk to him again because we can, like, get some more stuff. Um, I don't really ever use any of them. Because they're just annoying. That one could be pretty useful. Um, got some jetpack stuff here. We got 159 nanites left. Um, yeah, we'll we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. We've got the gauntlet. That's like the main thing for me to pick up stuff. But hey ho, right? What's next? Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, we can talk to this guy. Hello, friend. Every starship is special. An invitation to explore the stars. Let me tend to yours. Alright. Right. Um, there's like obviously all these new weapons and stuff. We don't really need that at the minute. That would be useful. The launch cost will be reduced, um, which will then lead to that one. Automatic recharging. 
Oh my god, that seems well good. Wait. I can't hardly read that because it's really blurry. Allow trickle charge while the ship is not in space. So basically, um, that will actually like mean that I don't have to recharge the launch fuel, like the launch thing anymore. I got 159. We'll say we'll come back to this. I'm, if we don't find anything else that's better, I'm definitely getting that one. Um, let's go over here. You got exocrafts there, I'm guessing, because of the picture. Um, oh, here we go. Let's have a look at this. Can I not look at that? Why would it open that way? <laughs> I'm trying to like, okay, I guess I can't. Yes, multi-tools, yes. So many multi-tools make them better, faster, make them more. Ah, the personal force field. Ah, that was useful when I had it once on my other save. Um, combat scope? What's that one? Survey device. Self-contained circuitry upgrade for the analyzer visor. Adding real-time terrain analysis to the scanning array. Okay. Um, Alright, so I'm definitely, I'm going to buy... <laughs> I'm definitely going to buy the 20% uh, less uh, fuel usage for the uh, thingamabob here. I'll have that. Cheers, mate. No one said I needed wiring loom. Okay. Right, we'll get that at some point. See, what now? Um, log. The menu's so massive, like... Um, okay, the space anomaly. Explore the space anomaly. Oh, okay, we've got another... Another guy to talk to, apparently. Oh, what is this? Construction research station. Oh, oh! These are like actual bits that I I can uh, look at and stuff, like actual rooms and stuff. Ah, oh, look at that. We can get the uh, a thingy. If we have enough stuff. An exocraft, I mean. There's quite a lot of stuff here. What is this? Oh, so I don't... I don't need to have, like, some farmer... Oh, no, they're locked. Wait, no, they would be locked because of that. So I don't need a farmer guy telling me... Or, or like, a construction guy telling me, like, what to do. You know? So I upgrade it myself, if that makes sense. Let's go talk to this guy then. Let's carry on. Now Dora and Polo drift between worlds and worlds. There are many. Have you seen them, traveller friend? Nada wishes they could. Nada regrets much. Ask what to do. Traveller. Entity is free to make their own path. Find Artemis Entity, explore with others, travel to great signs, sites. Proceed as you will, Traveller Entity. We will aid you. Others will aid you also. Even if you speak the Crimson Liar. Seek the Crimson Liar. Interesting. Ask for help with exploration. Ask for help with Artemis. Ask about... The Crimson Liar. That sounds interesting. Crimson Liar, Atlas. False entity. Corvax, worship. But Nada knows better. Nada knows where it dwells. Nada chooses to disregard it. But if Traveller Entity wishes to seek it, Nada will help. Nada wishes you are safe. You to be safe. 
So that's basically just like the big Atlas stations and we collect all of them and then we end up making our own solar system, I think that is. I think I'll, I'll ask for help with exploration. Of course, Nada will mark your map with a great wonder, but take your time with your journey. Find your pattern. Speak to others on this station. They have things to offer you also. Return to us whenever you please, Traveller Entity. You are always welcome here. Ah, thank you. Continue the search for Artemis. Return to space. Search for clues about Artemis among the stars. Okay, it looks like we gotta we gotta head back out. Then. Yup. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Ah, we got missions here. Okay. Uh, that's a lot. Long. What? Oh, it just changed. What? It literally just changed. Uh, tame wild creatures. Untamed pal palaters. Uh, okay. Raid a planetary deport. Deport. 283,000 units. We could do this. That would give us a lot of money for what we have at the minute. We only got 65,000. Let's try it. I, I reckon we can do it. Unless it's a lot harder these days. Um, ready up, I guess. It's in the Nexus, okay. Um, let's select it, I guess. Right, we've got it on. Research the compromised facility. Um, so we just gotta raid it. Unless they completely change the deport, uh, deport, deport things. Um, I'm pretty sure they're fairly easy to do as long as I quickly just run around in circles and shoot in the, uh, the things. Let me sit down real quick. Okay, off we go. There it is. That's uh, this guy. Wait. Oh, I forgot about Artemis. What? Hello, Artemis. Oh, there he is. Hello. I can tell this guy's going to be annoying. Where? Is there anyone out there? It's outside it. Something's wrong with... I tell the stranger that I can hear them. There is a moment's pause. The only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. You, you found me. There's so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. How did you find my voice? So you found a crashed ship. I tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck and how I found their communicator ID in the distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. It's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They took just like ask where they are fear and confusion dance within the eyes of the stranger after a few moments of silence they turn to me imploring you don't know who you are do you it lied to me it lied to all of us i'm guessing that said <laughs> the sound cuts out but their face lingers on silent before it too fades into nothingness 
end communication. This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signals. Do a scan. How do I do a scan? I can't remember. There we go. Right, but first, um, I want to do this one. Right, I want to do that one. There we go. All right. All right. What, what buttons the? There we go. Let's do this first. And then, well, if we can anyway, if we can do this, we can do anything, all right? We just got to believe in ourselves. In fact, on the way there, I'm just going to hit up the inventory real quick. Oh, we got, we got loads of bullets. Okay, right. Let's go down. So many clouds, I can't see. Right. Compromised facility. It's got to be the place, isn't it? Ah, right. Okay, there's a landing point there. Let's land there. Looks like a... Uh, just like a manufacturing facility, not like a like a deposit like you know what I mean let me stand up okay right hey got this little guy here mode uh, reload okay right let's go right we got a walking dog sentinel thing over there so we've got to be careful All right, here it is. All right, we got to do this quickly. Here they come. Come on, come on. Shit, reload. Come on. Almost done, almost done. There we go, we're in, we're in. Go away! How do I access it? There we go. The terminus is covered in a thick purple substance. Shimmering bubbles expanding just below the surface. The alarm rings in my ears. Touch the display. Generally, I touch the terminal, but it does not respond. Perhaps if the network mistook me for a sentinel, I should get further. Sliver hand with pugnum times a hundred. Okay. I need to acquire pugnum from the sentinels. If I... Ah, oh, right, okay. I know what that is. Time to get to work. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Right, we gotta kill sentinels. Come at me. Come at me, bruh. Right, there's one. Bang, 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 bang. Oh no! I have to get rid of something. Get rid of that. Well, that should leave us with enough space. We'll get rid of that one as well. We'll use that. Um, and there we go. Get some more ammo. Right. 
It should be okay. Um, probably need to recharge. I oh, know. Okay. But oh, where are the sentinels at? Oh wow. Okay. See if we can find any with a scan. Oh, there's one. Where is it? Is it in the wall? Uh, it is. It's in the wall. There's no more sentinels around. Maybe I can get it from the inside. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Punch it! Punch it! <laughs> I got 18, that gave me 18. So I'll leave the area or hide before more comes. I don't want to hide. We need to kill more. Here we go. This is when it starts. Try and shoot that weak spot. There's another one. Bites the dust. There's another one. Our shield is holding up. Now we got this uh, the dog one coming up. Hopefully we'll survive, and hopefully my shield will uh, recharge. Okay, here we go. If it gets too bad, we'll have to go inside. Why can't I move? Ah. There we go. We've done it, we've got a hundred. Let's go in. That was easy enough. The unpleasant purple sludge appears to be slowly spreading across the terminal. It reacts aggressively to my touch, as if it seems senses me to be a hostile body. I need to meld with it somehow if I am to get further. The terminal comes to life. Coordinates flash rapidly across the display in a strange purple script. I download the address to my exosuit navigation systems. Sentinel depot coordinates located. Reach the depot. <laughs> oh my god. So this really wasn't the, uh, the depot. Uh, I can't believe you've done this.